All right, guys, so as you can see by the thumbnail, we are actually about to remove the Cobra Jet Manifold. It's pretty bittersweet, as some of you guys may have seen uh, my post on Instagram about my Vortec partnership. So pretty stoked for that, but it's still bittersweet. I had a lot of good moments with this setup. A lot of awesome races between me and all the friends and, you know, just everything. It was just awesome. I, I love this kit. I wish I didn't have to get rid of it to put the Paxton on, but, you know, that's just the name of the game. So we're going to get started on this. I have a few buddies pulling up. I think uh, TK, Fast SS, and my buddy Marty's going to come. I'm going to see if Nate, Cherry wants to come, uh, whoever else. I'll just hit up the group chat and see what's going on, but I'm going to get started. My girl's here with me right now, so I'll try to film as much of the process as you can. It's pretty straightforward. I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to swap a manifold, but we will go ahead and get started. All right, so right now I'm just trying to like let the car idle. It has like 10 miles till E. Just want to get as much fuel out of it as possible before I take this all off and put the old uh, fuel system back on because when I get my tune for the stock Manny and the headers, it's going to be a 91 tune, so I got to get as much of the E85 out of the car as I possibly can. But once I, you know, I'll let it run for a little bit longer, I will start taking the thing off. It should be really straightforward because I have that VMP plug and play harness. This is a lifesaver for this moment right now because instead of having to repin the connector, I literally just unplug it and plug it back into the stock throttle body. It takes two seconds for two hours. And thank you to my buddy James, actually. James out of Tennessee. Like when I got the Cobra Jet, he DM'd me uh, on Instagram and was like, hey, dude, make sure you get this because it makes the install way easier. And me and James still talk like, all the time. But, you know, if he didn't do that, I probably would have repinned it myself and I would be in a, a shitty situation right now. So thank you, James. I really appreciate the, the you know, the insight. And yeah, we're going to get started on this. So here we go. Would it be someone else right now? Yes, TK. All right. So we're going to start off by just getting the intake and the throttle body off and then we'll get to the manifold. I just want to depressurize the fuel rail before I spray E85 all over myself and get in my mouth and TK's mouth. <laughs> all right. So we got the throttle body and the intake off. Next is the manifold. I think it's just like six bolts for the manifold and four for the fuel rails, and then it should just pull right up, as from what I remember. Fuck. Sad, dude. There she goes. Fucking sad moment right here. There it goes. Dude, I didn't know you had a Part of the piece. <laughs> yes. All right, so we got the manifold off. As you can see down in here, you see the valves, they actually look surprisingly clean for 80,000 miles. Yeah, Thanks to TK's special formula, the 44K, mm -hmm. the 44TK. Oh awesome. shit. Damn, dude, these actually look really good. Wow. Holy shit, Marty, do you see this? I'm really surprised, bro. There's not even any shit. For 80K? Yeah, for 80K? <laughs> Alright, so we're on our way to sell the CJ Manny. We got Gianna. We got Marty. TK, we're in we're the, the, the fast ram, ram dog. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, we shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Manifold's gone, going away, going to its new home. I'm gonna get use at least that I can't use it for. But at least now, I get the Gav TK's pussy ass with just headers. There she goes. I'll miss you. All right, so we just sold the manifold as you guys saw. Me and Marty came back, TK went home, he's a flake. We actually have John here, she's not a flake. But this looks pretty depressing, but it won't when there's a big spoolie boy right there. But for now, I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but it just doesn't look like a Cobra Jet. So stock boys for now. All right. So I just got this stuff in the mail, you guys. Actually, it came a day early, which I'm pretty surprised about with all the Corona stuff going on. But I'm sure you guys can guess what this stuff is. It's from Boundary Pump. So let me get into the boxes and I'll show you guys exactly what's in there if you don't already know. So give me just one second. All right, so I just got them out of the box. I'm not gonna open the bag. I don't want them to get you know damaged or dirty. I'm gonna put them right back in the box. But you can just tell by looking at this stuff, the quality of the products from Boundary, second to none. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about them. They're billet, so they should be super strong. Here is the crankshaft sprocket. Let me get it out of here. 
without dropping it. That'd be nice, right? Let's see this. I got some oil in the bags. Let's see it there. But yeah. So I got this stuff waiting on the kit. Should be here tomorrow. I'll definitely show you guys an unboxing on that. And the injectors, they say they're going to be here Wednesday. They're in my town already, so I think they're going to be here tomorrow. We'll see. Everything's weird right now with the COVID stuff, so shipping's all messed up everywhere. But yeah. So as soon as everything else comes, I'll film an unboxing on that stuff, guys. All right, guys. So if you didn't know, I got the stock intake nanny back on the car already. I've got my tuner back from SCT. We got my boy Vince right here. The yeah. tuner should be fixed. We're going to load my tune from a Lothman right now, and we're going to load it on the car. But first things first, we got to go to the gas station and actually fill my jug with 91 octane, not E85, which is kind of funny. I've never gone to a gas station and filled anything with 91 but the car itself. So should be funny, but we're going to go do that, fill it up, retune the car, and hopefully it starts up with no problems, and we'll do some data logging. All right, so we just got to the gas station. We're going to fill the jug up with some 91, go look, put it in the car. The tune actually loaded on the car. I'm going to try to do some data logging for the vlog right now and just for my car's sake. So let me fill this up. We're going to go back to the house, fill the car, and then start the car and see what's going on. All right, so we're at the gas station. Look what we see. Slow M3. Chris, what is this thing? Bolton's tune or what? Give it a rev, pussy. Let's see if we get some flames. This fool in the 7 series right here almost just went off this curb like a freaking dumbass. Oh my god. Chris is like, get me out of the way. Well, that was a funny turn of events. But yeah, he literally just went up on that curb like trying to leave. That's so funny. Alright guys, so here's the moment of truth. Just got the fuel put in. Tunes loaded up. There's a tiny, tiny bit of E, like less than 10 miles left. So hopefully there's no problems, but... The only way to find out is to go for it, right? Sounds a little weird, but I think it's just... made a funny noise when I first started it but now I think it's good had to just get some of that E out of there make sure there's no check engine light it looks good to me first time the car has been on 91 in like over a year first time it's been on stock Manny in um, like a year and a half actually so actually first time it's been stock intake in like almost three or two to three years actually which is funny so yeah we're gonna let it idle get all the 91 into the system and then we're gonna go grab some food so hopefully everything goes smooth all right so the car's on got the tuner set up over here vince is setting up the computer we're gonna go do some data logging hopefully everything goes good and the tuner doesn't glitch out like it has in the past we're gonna see i just sent it in from to sct it had a little bit of an issue but now it seems to be working <clears throat> so I'm gonna go from here grab some food and do the log so we'll be filming some of that as well just doing that idle log real quick all he wants is a idle and third gear watt no drivability I guess from a Lothman but you know he knows what he's doing I'm not gonna complain my car has been good to me I guess it's 126 right now just kidding the batteries just reset it's like 10 o'clock but you know Lothman's up right now he's over in Kuwait so we're getting it done. Hopefully you can send me another revision tonight. Maybe not. We'll see. But we're almost done with this and we're going to go drive the car. So, Alright guys, so I had a little bit of an issue with this SCT. As you can see, Air 1007 again. Um, same exact code I was getting before when I was trying to data log. I'm lucky I at least got the tune on the car. So it looks like I'm going to have to send this thing back to SCT. And we will go from there. So... See you guys in the next video.